a very good morning all of you so now today we will start the new chapter the name of chapter is user operation that will discuss about that will discuss about the who command at all on who am i so here just i will list out what we learned today this one is a user operation part one in part we will modify our accounts in the next week this is uh, uh, us we need to complete today itself okay so the first one is what is who command see if user wants to identify right if logged log in system ways it will display the name so we require that theory okay so for example while learning the language or while learning the linux we need to understand the basic concepts okay once we understand the basic concept then we can do lots of operation for example one of the user you have one reputed company okay you have one reputed company as amnc in that a lots of employees are working there so you have one server linux server and that will be hosted on the amazon web services now you have one you got one project from the other country we can say that us to manage some hospital management data or we can say that to gather some uh, tweets or like that any you will get that project or some pharmaceutical project you got that so you have a team of 10 to 12 people so in that case if you are trying to work in that project you need to create a certain users because in that area the certain users will be logged into that account that aws account and after that they will implement or they will launch the application for that we require a user name so we need to gather the user details who logged into the system what he did so it is a task of a uh, system admin to track here track or we can say that take care of the system okay so for that just user understand how we will create the user who is logged into the system what will be the name of that person if i am trying to log in into the system then right now who i am whether i am a root whether i am a, a normal user whether i am a sudo user super user like that stuff you will you need to understand this thing okay so by using this command when i use when i use command okay so it will display the syntax We need to pass then it will then it will display the name of user okay so for that we required a vmware so we'll start the vmware and we'll do the practical so we'll get the brief idea regarding how it will be executed we'll start the play virtual machine click on that
trying to log in into the VM lab. My name of user, so password of user, password as a data. I was trying to open my permission to do. I will use hookah. I want to know what is the meaning of hookah. That's why I will use a man command. See, shows who logged on. That means the terminal who logged on, it will get the information. Okay, so just we'll try. See, currently the username is Arvin. Currently, the username is Arvin. That means that person is logged into the system particular person you need to log into the system so for example if you want to check if if you if user wants to check terminal or system from When I start this OS at that time, okay, so वहाँ से अब तक कौन कौन log हुआ है? So user wants to check who logged into the into the system from from into into the system from system boot. So whenever we start the OS of that, so whenever I start this operating system at that time, यहाँ से अभी तक कौन कौन log हुआ है? So I want I want that details. So for that purpose, just we need to use who command. So just I will use who hyphen. It will display who hyphen a. That means who logged into the system from system board. So hyphen a is used. See. So at eight seven o'clock, the system will build system boot user will be logged into that. And at eight o'clock, eight eight dot eight o'clock. Run level file will be executed, and now from eight eight o'clock, the user Arvin is logged into the system. Okay. So like that, if you want to uh, get full details, अगर आपको ऐसा लगता है कि full details मुझे चाहिए, then just use who hyphen a. Get the details. Like that, you need to. What I created, <laughs> for example, being as a system administrator. Okay, only check करना ही काम नहीं है आपको, so you need to maintain record also. आपको क्या करना पड़ता है? Record भी maintain करना पड़ता है. So what I had created this, so just I will show you. Now what what I want to do? So just I want to check who users logged from the system. So I will check this details. Okay, so the particular users is logged into system. So right now this one is my single instance, so I can check only one user. So in the company here we get the lots of user layer. Okay, so here we get the lots of user information. So in that case, in that case, if you want to save that information, just will create one file. Okay, so how will create file? So who hyper a 
I will use pipe. So this concept is called as a pipe. That means it will execute two commands at a time. Okay. By using this command, will print some output. Okay. And by using another command, will save that information into file name. Okay. Here I will use whatever we name. So we all know that cat command is used to create the file. Out ls. Then log dot txt will be checked. Get the same information. So whatever information we stored, we can save that information okay. by using a pipe. So a command. Okay. So I will write here if save command he need to one so here I will use who is a small case by using this command we can okay so <coughs> another command who am I so it will indicate it will it just it will indicate that who I am that means what will be the current user ID okay so who is the current user logged in so by using this command which command see by using who hyphen a we get that information about all the users who logged into the system okay. but right now when I use who am I it will give the information of detail user who logged into the system right okay so just I will show you sudo hyphen i is there so just I am using who I am so earlier I am using who I am then I got the information of Arvind right now check out who I am I am reboot okay so that means existing system may cone login who I am right now right now who is logged into the system then it will display the who I am a, that's why we use that means it will print print effective user ID check currently you logged into the system then we'll use who I am so x who am I now third one we need to do add user related this now we need to add the user before adding the user we need to understand where we get the user related information so first of all we will write the definition of that by using the map page to add a user to the system. I'm going to check add user command by using a map page so we get an output add a user or group into the system. User add karne ke liye aapko add user command use karna padta hai. Okay. So this is the way by using that we can create the user. But before creating the user Path of path of path path to list all I already told in the last lecture. So if you want to check the users, if you want to check the user, then we need to use a certain path. Okay, so that means for example, if you want to check the user, how many users we have, uh, once we added the user, where we get that information. So that configuration file contains the path is slash etc slash here path. 
pass w this one is a part of the, this one is a file so by uh, in that file the user related information we get that okay so we will open that file by using a cat command okay so we can use a file cat slash can open this file by using head command head slash can open this command file by using a tell command now it's a different meaning we already learned about a cat command head command type command okay and tell command so if you want to check the file from top side then i will use head command if you want to check the file from bottom side then i will use tell command if you want to check full file then i will use cat command okay. make a note of that whenever we add the user whenever you will add the user at that time at that time the user will be added at the bottom at that time the user will be added at bottom see this is the most important point the user will be added at the bottom if the user will be added at the bottom then which command we need to use can i use cat no can i use head no we will use tell so I said I am not able to use head command, I'm not able to use cat command. We can use that. Okay. But we did not get appropriate output. So I mean For example, certain I have added one user having name SYCAC. So that information will be added in the bottom of page. Okay. So that data will be append in the passwd file. Append means the last line. Okay. So if you want to check the last line, then we all know that we'll use L command hyphen n1 last number of lines okay. so, that we can check. Okay. so let's check out we'll do the same operation by using certain commands so cat slash see here some small case may hota hai. Samay, just may use kar raho. see this one is my user related Thoda sa small key I'm gonna use so this one is a, the last one user will be a system D. So, cat command se puri files run ho jate. Here I will use head command head slash etc slash pass I got the information. So it will display only top 10 users. Okay. But whenever I add the user that will be appended on bottom side. So I will use tell command tell slash etc slash pass I got the bottom of information. But I want to check what only last user. What should I do? etc slash password this one is the last user i want to check last two users so instead of that one i will use two like that stuff see arvind is there and system d is there so these two users are created now i want to create one user that will be add the user so how will you add the user so make a note of that uh, here we need to use a pseudo privilege yeah may pseudo privilege use karna padega okay what is the reason behind that he, the, uh, if you want to add the user, delete user, you need to add a pseudo privilege, super user related task. So for that, whatever we command run, add user, add group, and del user, del group, in that case, just we'll use pseudo. Okay, super user, it indicates that super user. So what will be the syntax to add the user? if you want to add the user SYCAC we'll check that so sudo add user username is SYCAC of second year method so I will create the username of that see it will use you need to understand all the things okay we'll add the user we'll add the user next whenever it will add the user it will add one group having the same name of user okay if your username is SYCAC automatically by default the group will be created having the same name if you're trying to add the user as a PQR automatically at the time that PQR group will be created if you're trying to add the user PESCV automatically one group will be created okay, make a note of that when I trying to add the user one group will be created after adding the group okay 
after adding the group that particular user is associated with group third step kya hota hai adding new user sycc in first step user is created in second step group is created now adding new user sycc to the group that means the association of user and the group will be done ye by default hota hai okay the association of user and group will be done okay in that if you want to change the group name then we have a different command we will check later on okay baad mein dekhenge kaise change karna hai but right now we'll we'll do same thing after that whenever we add the user by default the directory will be created okay so earlier we are working in the uh, slash home slash arvin folder now when i trying to log in using the sycsc in that case i can work inside the slash home slash sycsc if you folder if your username is a bscv then directory will be created slash home slash psc if your username is a demo then directory will be created slash home slash demo and the last it will copy the file okay so these are the some files uh, predefined files are available scale files kaha jata hai so it will be copy okay ye copy hoti hai aapke directory ke andar isse kya hota hai ki aapke user ko log in log out karne mein koi dikkat nahi aati so this one is a skeleton file that required for login log out and do the other operations okay so these are the files so whenever we add the user we need to check care, take care of this five things automatically system will take care of this one so first it will add the user later on it will add the group later on it will associate that user with that group after that it will create the home directory for your user and later on it will come with the with the skeleton file okay ye koi bhi user add karte samay After that here we need to enter the password. We type the password. So here I got the message password update successfully. Okay. After that changing user information of S Y C. Enter the value or press enter by default. What is your full name? If you want to write, write it or skip it. What is room number? Skip it. What is work pro? Skip it. What is home phone? Skip it. And other skip it. If you want to write, you can write. Okay, but I don't want to write it. Okay, so I will do this operation in part two. Is this information is correct? If no, करते हो, तो ये फिर से पूछेगा. If yes करते हो, तो ये नहीं पूछेगा. Okay, so here we added a user successfully. यहाँ हमने user add कर लिया. What will be the name of user? S Y C C. We added user successfully. Check does I added user successfully? यहाँ मुझे क्या चेक करना है? User मैंने add successfully किया है क्या नहीं? Where we get the information? Slash etc slash affect that. Which command we need to use? Can I use the cat? Yes. Can I use the head? Yes. Can I use the tail? Yes. But head से top file दिखते हैं, tail से bottom of file दिखते हैं, cat से पूरा दिखता है. आपके ऊपर depends है. So I will use tail. पर ये अनवर लास्ट फाइल ओनली स्लैश एटीसी स्लैश पास डब्ल्यू सी वी गेट दैट इनफॉरमेशन सी पर्टिकुलर यूजर इज एडेड अर्लीयर सिस्टम डी वाज द लास्ट यूजर ओके नाउ एसवाईसीएस इज यूजर दिस वन इज अ होम डायरेक्टरी फॉर दैट यूजर दैट्स इट ये ये क्या है एक्स 1001 1001 पिन बैश विल डिस्कस इन पार्ट 2 is user operation part 1 user part operation part 2 ke andar hi operation perform karenge why is in that we can add the user related let's do we'll add one more user so i will add sudo add user xyz so i am trying to add the user having uh, the username as xyz see first of all it will add the user later on it will create the xyz group later on that xyz user will associated with xyz group later on it will create the home directory slash home slash xyz and later on it will copy the skeleton file okay jo bhi maine bataya hai ye steps hai later on we need to enter the password here i put the password and successfully if you want to enter that information yes otherwise Keep it. Now run last command. Tell her panyan slash. Uh, it is slash. What will be the your last user? 
earlier it was S Y C S. Now X Y C S. I have to check the last two user use hyphen and two. If we get the S Y C S related details, we get the X Y Z related details. अब इसके अंदर ना सच में ये होम डायरेक्टरी क्रिएट हुए हैं क्या? If you want to check. सच में ये ग्रुप क्रिएट हुआ है क्या? If you want to check, you can check that. Okay. So have first of all we check does that group is created. So we all know that group related information क्या होती है slash etc slash group के अंदर. So let's check out tell hyphen and two slash etc. We हम validate कर रहे हैं. Okay, it is not mandatory, but आप validate कर रहे हैं कि सच में group क्या है. कि S Y C S C and X Y Z groups are created. etc के अंदर group की information होती है तो S Y C S C and X Y Z. So ये तो task हो गया. Now we'll check does that skeleton uh, does that uh, home that x y z x y z home directory is available or home that s y c c is available so to check that ls slash etc slash home slash home so we have home ko hi ls karne ke see s y c c folder is available earlier it was only arvin now s y c c folder is available and x y z folder is also I will try just will log in into the system. I'm checking it. Log in, who are you? Any? So, do S U after creation creation of user if admin log in. Name of username is S Y C S. Y C S. See, I'm working currently working in the S Y C S. Here it was Arvind. Now it was a S Y C S. Now I will check who am I. I will check who I am. See S Y C S. That that means I successfully logged into the system. So, ऐसे हम लॉगिन कर सकते हैं. Now we'll do the uh, now we'll do the operation of uh, add group and by using that particular things will add the group related information. Okay, so I will do that. So again here I will write a thing for that. Next task is add. So according to the definition, add group ki le kya hai? It is used in the map while checking the map page. It is used add a group. अभी चेक भी कर सकते हो और वेरीफाई भी कर सकते हो बाय यूजिंग अ मैन कमांड जो भी मैं लिख रहा हूँ ना यही मीनिंग हो सकता है ऐड अ ग्रुप टू द सो हियर वी राइट इफ ओके व्हाट पर्पस विल डिस्कस अब अभी डिस्कस करेंगे डोंट वरी दें अस्सुम दैट यू हैव वन रिपोर्टेड कंपनी आपके पास एक रिपोर्टेड कंपनी है एमएस कंपनी सो यू गोट वन प्रोजेक्ट सो इन दैट यू हैव सम टीम ऑफ टेन टू ट्वेंटी पीपल्स सो अमंग दैट टू आर द मैनेजर्स वन वन इज़ द मैनेजर सेकंड वन इज़ द को मैनेजर लेटर ऑन टेन among the 20 two people are the tester two people are the network administrator one people is a system administrator okay so we have a team of four groups so in that we need to distinguish these groups okay testing ka alag karna hai okay second admin ka karna hai network admin ka karna hai manager ka alag karna hai and we need to provide some extra privileges to the according to user so manager has all privileges Okay, developer has the developer privileges. Network ID has network admin has network privileges. Linux admin has a Linux privilege. Like that stuff, we need to create a group. 
and according to that we need to assign the permission in next lecture next lecture ke baad mein permission padne wale so in that get you will get the information okay so permission se kya aata hai ki restriction kiya jata hai we need to restrict the user okay so agar user ko fully access dena hai to kya dena hai for example if if you don't want to provide access for example developer don't want to provide access of admin pages admin group एडमिन ग्रुप को नेटवर्क को देने का मीनिंग ही नहीं है ना सो वाई बी गिव to the practical see are the tester and where we get the information of uh, groups all know that we get the information at slash etc slash group file so by using that we get the information so that file also will be run by using cat tail and head okay, so we can do that cat slash etc okay. but aapko decide karna hai ki aapko kya karna hai so we'll get the group related information in the bottom so i will suggest use tell command do that adding group testing that's it itna hi message aata hai so if you want to check tell one and one last group check karna hai mujhe slash etc slash testing if you want to check last two groups so i think xyz is also there टेस्टिंग एंड नेटवर्क learn about who we learn about who i am we learn about add user so we learn about add group okay so now we need to understand how we'll delete the user and how we'll delete the groups before that just i have one scenario like that there is a scenario ab ab yahi command dekh lo okay so we check that the testing user is available and network is available okay now what should i do need to do if user wants to in existing existing group that kya karna padega see ab project milne baad mein kya hota hai admin ka task kya hota hai ki user create karna hai to user create karne se pehle wo group create karta hai so we need to associate that particular user with that group इन केस ऐसे अगर आप करने को लगता है दैट मींस इफ यू ग्रुप इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इफ यू हैव अ ग्रुप दैट ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल सो इन दैट केस आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा अ पर्टिकुलर यूजर विल बी एडेड इनटू द ग्रुप सो हियर आई विल राइट द सिंटैक्स एज इन दैट टेस्टिंग एंड नेटवर्क ग्रुप इज अवेलेबल सो आई विल यूज दैट सो हियर आई विल यूज sudo sudo add user add user I will add the username. We have the username. We need later on hyphen hyphen two times hyphen. We need to use in group. That we need to pass. Make a note of that. That group must be present. Make a note of that. That group name must be a present. Let's do that practical. 
assume that the network and testing is there so i want to add the user ramesh to uh, root testing okay, i have an employee having the name ramesh and i want to add that ramesh user into the group so what should i do sudo add user In this, in that group name is testing. So go add user Ramesh hyphen hyphen in group testing. So did that? See, here I am trying to add the user Ramesh. Okay. Here we did not get the step second step, creating a group Ramesh. Earlier, when I create the user in that, the group is also created. Okay, so second directly here, the second step is removed, uh, adding group, and instead of that, just third step will come, adding new user Ramesh with group testing. Earlier, क्या होता था कि जब हम Ramesh add करते थे ना, automatically the Ramesh group is also created, and that user will associated with that group. But right now, here I have, I want to add the one user Ramesh and that. Group. user ramesh will be added in the group of testing so creating home directory slash home slash ramesh ye to baki ka same hi rahega just yahan group create nahi karna hai right directly now aap kuch bhi likho but yaad rakh that particular user will be added let's check out so by using a tell command tell happen slash etc first of all we'll check the passed up notify file see particular ramesh user will be Now we'll check the groups file. The network X. Not that network needs it. Testing needs it. Testing is there. Testing. So in this under a particular user, what has been added? Added. The name of user will be added. Here, if you look a little lightly, you can see what the group ID is. So we'll discuss tomorrow. Actually, user mod command. We will see tomorrow. But Make a note of that this one zero zero three is group name, group number, and this one is a user number. So, ye one zero zero three and ye match होना चाहिए one zero zero three. Okay, so अगर ये match होता है, that means we can say that that particular user will be added into the group. Likewise, this particular user will be added into. The group. Now we'll check the tell command and we'll check the last three two users. I also check the last two groups. Now I want to delete the group network and I want to delete the user X Y Z. X Y Z delete करना है and network delete करना. So if you want to delete the user, use sudo. Document is also required. So tell user. Does that wants to delete the? Then we need to use for instance the syntax. Syntax will be tell user. Okay, so this one is a syntax. Similarly, if you if you if uh, admin wants to delete the group. That user will use tell group. If admin wants to delete the tell user की जगह tell group. Please attach it. So let's do that. एक बार में करेंगे सुडो टेल यूजर नेम ऑफ द यूजर इज एक्स वाई जेड नेट एक्स वाई जेड सी रिमूव द यूजर एक्स वाई जेड वार्निंग ग्रुप एक्स वाई जेड हैज नो वन मेंबर एक्स वाई जेड यूजर डिलीटेड 
what about group group is not available group is not deleted because aapne user delete kiya hai so user jab bhi delete karte ho to group delete nahi hota hai usme group ke liye separate karna padta hai now we'll check out the user information tell hyphen and to last pass wd c <coughs> last user ramesh is there sycs is there xyz is not there okay we'll check last three files Does we have X Y Z user? No, we don't have. That means we successfully deleted. Okay. Now we'll do. We'll remove the group also. So group के अंदर testing है. I'm network. We'll remove the network. Sudo tell group to write the name of group. In that removing group. Check that last command. See. एस वाई सी सी एंड टेस्टिंग इज अवेलेबल अर्लियर इट वॉज टेस्टिंग एंड नेटवर्क नाउ एस वाई सी सी एंड टेस्टिंग इज अवेलेबल ओके सो सी यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट द एस वाई सी एस सी दैन एस वाई सी एस सी ऑल्सो रिमूव ओके प्राइमरी ग्रुप है इसकी वजह से नहीं हो रहा है Just first of all, we need to delete the SYCC user. Later on, it will be deleted. So testing किया तो testing हो जाएगा. The primary user है मतलब that user is already already exists. So first of all, we need to delete that user. Later on, it will be deleted. Okay. So like that stuff, we can do the. This is the more today's lecture. So tomorrow's lecture will perform the detail about the concept of user more common. So in that tomorrow we'll discuss the part two. user operation so we'll save it mm just please do that So we'll take some questions if you have. Later on, just we'll close the session. Today's session. I will upload it. So quickly ask the questions if we have. See, we are uh, doing a step by step working so that we learn first basic operations. Later on, we we'll learn about the some operation on the directory. Later on, we we'll learn about the user operation part one. Tomorrow, we'll discuss about the user operation part two. After that, we'll start the chapter of permissions. That in one lecture, we'll cover all the permissions. Later on, we'll check the special permission and ownership chapter. Once we complete that, we'll start the process. After that, cross job. After that, scripting, interactive scripting, non-interactive scripting, tarball, grape, find command, locate command. So in this other chapter, once we complete the Linux, after that we will start the AWS. Okay. So does anyone have question regarding now till now? If yes.